Hello, this video is going to demonstrate a feature of Oracle Analytics to allow to upload custom image as map background. And what it comes down to is the ability to use any image on your computer as a custom visualization in OAC and be able to do this in a few seconds. So let's see how we do this. So there are two simple steps to achieve this. The first one is to upload the image. So we're going to go in the console menu and there click on the maps icon. And under maps, we can see map backgrounds and image backgrounds. And there we can add an image, just uploading an image. So an image can be anything, it doesn't have to be a map. So in this example, let me pick a motorbike picture for instance and I'm just naming this as a motorbike background and here's my image and it's been uploaded in OAC. So that completes our first step. Let's move on to the second step, which is about the ability of drawing areas on that picture that will react to different values of metrics. So we're going to build a map layer on top of that picture. So there is a menu for this in the map background, which is create map layer. And that takes us to the layer creation tool. So let's zoom on this motorbike image. And here we can simply start defining the layers. So we can do points, lines, or polygons. So let us pick polygons. And let's go ahead and directly click and draw an image on the map here. So let me draw the tank, the gas tank here. So I just create my, my layer and I will give a name at the top here, petrol tank. And then I go on and do other areas on the picture that I would like to measure with values of metrics. So if I create more and more, I can then turn and use a different type of polygon, like a circle for the tires. So let me put a tire, a front tire and a rear tire with a circle. And I keep naming this at the top. So I give a name to each area and I go on, dry all the layers that I want. And I just need to save that and we're done. So now we have a new map layer that has been created. So if I go to the console and look at maps, I have in the map layer tab this time, I have a new layer, which is a motorbike layer, which we just created. So we have a background and we have a layer and we did this in a few seconds. So let's go and visualize this now. So I open a data set with my motorbike data and in that data set, I have a column that matches the layer name that I gave. You can see part ID here. These are the names that I gave to my layer when I created them. So let's go ahead and create this data set and let's do one more thing here. Let's assign this column to a specific layer. We don't have to do this, but it will make it very convenient for user to know that this is tied to a geographical visualization. And this is done only once, right? So, so here I'm going to assign this column to the motorbike layer we just created. Let me click OK. And as we do this, you can see that the icon for the part ID is now marked as a geographical object. So let's go and visualize now. I'm just dragging the part ID in the canvas and voila, here's our map layer with our map background that show up. And let's drag another column into the picture, like manufacturer name, for instance, that will put some color in our layer. We could use metrics or, or attributes, right? So now we can use this visualization exactly like any other visualization in DV with all the interactiveness. So let me build other visualization into this canvas, like a bar chart or other viz. And the same interactions that exist in any viz will work here, like tooltip, keep selected, brushing, or users filter will work, right? This viz is completely interactive and embedded in the dashboard and it will resize automatically as well. If I turn users filter here, you can see that this, this interacts, it could be the other way around as well. So over a few seconds here, we have built a completely interactive custom viz based out of a random image that I had on my laptop. Thank you for watching that video.